So in the previous video we looked at finding the area of a sector. If now I want to find the length of the arc, that is the length of this curved section of the sector on the outside, then if I was working in degrees, then it would be a similar story as before. I would have the theta out of 360 degrees, because I want a portion of the whole circumference of the circle. And the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. Now, if I'm working in radians, then I replace the 360 with 2 pi. But what's going to happen is that with this formula, we're going to have the twos cancel each other out, and the pi's. And you're just left with theta r. So the length of an arc in radians is theta r, and that's all it is. So if I had a theta that was 0 0.8 radians and 6 centimetres for the radius, then the arc length is 0 0.8 times 6, which is just 4.8 centimetres. And that's it. Okay? So this is another of the formulas that you need to learn. So you've got half theta r squared for the area of the sector and theta r for the length of the arc.